Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about negotiations. So let's get into it. So the question in question was a little bit of a story. Frederick, could you please share your views on negotiation? Negotiation can depend on uh, a lot on context, and this is my current thinking. One, if you're a direct employee asking for a raise, may depend on A, performance, B, a lot of X, Y, C factors. When you're a freelancer asking for a raise in rate per hour can be configured by devs as they choose uh, can be configured as they choose what type of projects to take, correct? Three, you're working as a contract developer or consultant but not to be confused with a senior staff engineer where you work for a company through a third party company I found out even though my performance was really good I was getting paid less than the juniors I have had interview who suck I do understand that uh, that's how this system works but can we expect fairness what are your thoughts on this well I'm gonna have to try to derive a little bit here so what, what, if I understand correctly what you're saying is that from your perspective there are different types of negotiation positions where if you are a direct employee your negotiation position is based on your performance and other factors of whatever it might be right if you're a freelancer your negotiation position can be decided uh, or your negotiation or how you actually get paid can be decided based on the product that you take on and then finally if you're working as a consultant or someone through a third party company or contract developer then well then you don't seem to have any thoughts on that uh, okay so I will give you what I believe to be fairly universally true regardless of when whether or not you, again you kind of have to apply this is going to be broad strokes you're going to have to apply this to your own situation if you at all or if you're interested in my thoughts on the whole thing but uh, fairness is subjective that sounds horrible because it means that there is such a thing as saying that well something that feels unfair in one situation might be fair in another one and vice versa if it's fair to one person it might uh, shouldn't it be fair to everybody else and that's simply not the case there is a lot of wiggle room for what is considered to be fair and what is considered to be the essence of treating other people uh, in a fair manner what i mean is just that if you you can just look at different countries for for an example and different cultures in one culture a certain type of behavior is very appropriate appropriate it's almost the norm where the in another environment that's not going to be okay or it might be we like it, it really does come down to that and this something this is something you will definitely face and get a little bit of a feel for if you're trying to work in an international company it's it's a little bit different when you're working as a software developer in international companies because I mean if you're talking about culture things and so forth that usually people are kind of just trying to flatten everybody out so that everybody can like share the same values but uh, I used to teach uh, language I used to teach English and Swedish uh, pro bono to different people who came here to Sweden and like wanted to improve their language skills because I do believe that language is an extremely important thing for anybody who wants to integrate into any society and so try, by trying to help them you of course have you I mean you have people from America sitting next to people from Afghanistan or people from Russia sitting next to them like, there are so many political situations that could possibly arise and so many different values and by talking it through you start to realize that there are different value systems on what's okay and what's not okay the same thing is true for you when you are trying to negotiate your salary if you are working in a third world country as an example it's very unlikely that you will be able to push as hard for increasing pay or like having a higher salary or getting paid the same sort of money than as if you were say working in the states it's the same sort of deal right I mean it's the same thing for me I mean I cannot behave and try to push for things in terms of what I call fairness based on the rule set that is set in say another country and when you realize that what's fair really comes down to what is 
the norm like what's the norm within what, what your country and your company whatever you might be you start to understand think about it a little bit differently I mean let's say for the sake of argument that you are the best programmer who ever lived and Google calls you and says hey we want you to work for you and you say that yeah but I know them the, I'm the best I expect you to give me an annual salary of a billion dollars well then they're gonna say thank you so much and move on just because you might be the best coder in the world that it, because like the request that you made is so outlandish from what they would feel it's appropriate to pay someone even who's someone who's good as you uh, that it's just not gonna fly and the same thing goes for you when you're negotiating anything you re it really comes down to what is normal and then the other part is actually the thing the first thing that you mentioned here your performance and the X Y and Z factors that you were talking about it really comes down to you understanding what the expectations of your manager or like what their val what their value system is and to really get in tune with that and then on the other side understanding what you are bringing to the table that is noteworthy enough to motivate a race and in some cases you're unfortunately in that situation where uh, let's say that you're a freelancer it doesn't have to be a freelancer it can be anybody where you simply do and you simply dealing with a person or like a manager who does not value the things that you are providing there is no like it's because that's the thing with the negotiation it's the same thing when you're dealing with a customer if you're going to negotiate a pri price with the customer you're going to haggle in say the streets or like it doesn't have to be like at the stand or something like that uh, or booth it, you have to understand when you're dealing with an individual who does not budge there is no dis negotiation they have decided that this is the way it's going to be right and there cannot be a negotiation and the thing that always determines how well you do in practically every negotiation when it comes to this specific thing uh, apart from of course you mean social skills and so forth do matter is your willingness to walk away your willingness to walk away and like the and the overall value that you have in the conversation that is this, these are the two main factors that decide practically everything and it is the it's this the, it's the same dynamic between companies and customers and so forth if the customer is if the if the business is very dependent on the deal with the customer that customer is in the power position if the customer if the company is selling something that the customer desperately needs the t power dynamic changes it's the same thing with you if you are say a freelancer and this is a high stake project and you are probably one of the only people who can actually do this job you are in a very good position that doesn't mean that you can ask for anything you would like but you're in a good position and you have but once again as I said even as with the Google situation you you have to understand that even if you are in a good negotiation position your manager or whoever you're negotiating with your customer if your if your request is too outlandish they're just going to ignore like it's not going to be worth it for for uh, for them so being too pushy and not understanding what is normal or what is within reason for the person that you're dealing with is something that you have to account for so what I want you to take away from this is that I don't think that there is such a thing for you as to say that you can expect fairness because it very much depends on where you are the thing that is very fair to me and I would expect to be very normally and say here in Sweden it might be the weirdest most uh, outlandish request ever in a country that has a very different value system where say they're they're much more draco like they, they they simply don't treat their developers as well or like they don't expect you to have the same sort of demands and so forth so that would be very unfair to me but to someone who's been raised and lived in that environment that might be completely normal and so you have to understand that fairness is a very subjective and very contextual thing with that said the main factors that determine usually how well you do in a negotiation position is one how valuable are you in the discussion like where what, like, what is the what is the power dynamic because if you are a very high performance software developer who does really really well that puts you in a good dis a good position to negotiate a higher higher salary regardless of if you're a freelancer or a whatever right and on the other hand if you're working on things that aren't all that important or you're not one of perceived to be one of the more performant per people or let's say that your manager really doesn't care care all that much about you and they just want they could just find somebody else then that puts you in a weak position and then the only other factor that is determined that determines anything 
is your willingness to walk away just as it, your company's willingness to fire you is is the only thing that they have and that is usually the, the dynamic between every negotiation regardless of if it's between you and an employer or a customer and someone who's selling something have a great day